got your kind, got your, I got your, your modified, your workup, and this is fantastic. I really, really appreciate it. Okay, I want to address a couple of things, right? Because I read your, this is important, and I think I, I, I wouldn't, I want, I want to mention this in front of the group. So, in, in case anybody's looking in on this, I just want, I want you to think about this. But anyways, the the problem here is that you're frustrated because some of your pieces you think aren't aligning um, with your portfolio, and. It, you know, and that's quite often the case, but it's not all that alludes to is the fact that as a student, you should you're, you're perpetually honing your craft as it were you're learning more and you're growing every day. Therefore, and I always in my classes, I always reiterate this that you know you're working towards portfolio, meaning that your projects aren't done. You're going to learn something in a typography class next session. Well, this is hypothetical. Next session that you're going to want to apply to your work. Okay, and that's I think where the the frustration comes in is as 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 it's it's really difficult to try to perpetually work on your work and. And while you're t continuously taking classes, et cetera, et cetera. And that's what I want to say. I, I definitely feel you on this. So I definitely feel you. The frustration of the fact that, you know, maybe there's some things in a piece that um, that you feel could have been pushed. Now, um, as far as the, the book cover goes, look, you know, it, it, to me, I, I'm a portfolio reviewer and I also am a hiring professional. And I also consult with companies who are looking to hire graphic designers. So my point is this, okay, do, if, what do I want to see in a portfolio? Um, uh, you know, do I want to see a book cover, just the front panel? No, I want to see the whole thing because that makes sense to me. I'd like to see the whole thing and a production file with the die cuts and the, the fold lines. I would. That's what I want to see. I want to see a student show what you've learned. By just showing a front cover, you're not really showing exactly, which is not ready to go. It's not a production file ready to hit the commercial press and go in circulation tomorrow. And that's what you should be striving for in your portfolio work. I'm done lecturing. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just, I just really want you to understand and listen to me about what I'm saying about the frustration, okay? Because I get it. You're, you're finishing up a program here. You, you are frustrated. Absolutely. I get it. And if you weren't frustrated in, in portfolio class, I, I would say that something is probably wrong. <laughs> something is probably wrong. I, I can guarantee you we all feel it. And those of you who are feeling it, go ahead, chime in here on us and uh, let Detrick know he's not alone. All right. Enough of that. Let's move on. The changes. Let's jump over to it, shall we? Yes, we shall. This looks great. Very nicely done, very nicely done indeed. These are phenomenal. I do have a suggestion though. Um, boy, you know, these shots are great. They're fantastic. When you shoot, you wanna shoot on white. A great technique is to go out to the craft store by yourself two or four or six. I've got a bunch of them laying around, I always did to shoot my mock-ups for my products. Poster boards. Either foam core or white foam core or just poster boards. White post. Well, actually foam core. Yeah, uh, white foam core poster boards. They're gonna put one down here, put one against the wall over there. Have them come together close to a ninety. It creates an awesome background with really cool shadows, and it also creates these really nice soft shadows cast from your lighting. Okay, and then of course you know it looks like you know what you're doing shooting your product, but you should have a light over here, light over here, and then behind that poster, if you have anything back to that table, another light back there somewhere. So that would be the ideal way to, to set up with three, at least three lights, one there, one there, one there, one back there. Okay, great job. Really, really looking good. And the production file, yes, there it is. Outstanding, outstanding. So much better. So much better. I mean, even just the oh, just so much better. Okay, um, uh, I, I noticed the problem that I didn't notice the first time around. You got this weird space right here because your T is too big or not big enough to tuck that R in there a little bit. So you get this really. It almost looks like T wrap. It does. It almost looks like T wrap speed. Obviously, here it's trap speed, but it really does. So I, I don't know. I'm a little concerned about that. I don't know. You got you, you, you got. One of two options, either decrease the size of the RAP and tuck it in there a little bit, or increase the size of the T and tuck it over, or maybe some combination of both. This looks great right here, but you're breaking your grid. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull some guides out here real quick and let's just jump over there, pull a guide here. Oh no, I'm wrong. Okay. So um I still though I do think this image is a little bit too narrow. 
Um, and you can push it back in the composition a little bit. In other words, zoom out, keeping the same area, or you can maybe increase that area a little bit there, reducing the size of special features. But do not get me wrong. This looks great. Okay, much better. Okay, I got a little bit of a, a couple of questions with this piece right here. Okay, it, it, it's a brochure, sure, but is it a, what is it? How does it fold? I thought at first was it going to be a trifold, but if it was a trifold, this, I think, is the cover, right? If this is the cover, it can't be a trifold. There's no way, because the cover can't be over there. The cover is right here on this side, so that when you fold, and then on the back side would be this, okay? So when you fold that in, you have... You have that folded over, that folded over, which means on the other side, this panel would be the the um, the cover. So there's there's no way this is going to fold into a cover on a trifold. I guess is what I'm trying to say. And now, if you fold this, if it's an accordion fold, yeah. But I, I don't know. That's an accordion fold. This would fold back, and then this would fold forward, and the whole thing would fold back behind there. So you would open it into a eight eight and a half by eleven instead of a you know what I'm saying? And, and you would look at it like that, front and back, instead of three panels. That's a tri-panel. All right, so print that out, fold it up, and let me know how it works. Okay, this piece looks great. These he these are too heavy, these shadows. right? Get rid of those shadows and just mark with a, just a little hairline stroke. That's all you need. Those shadows are really distracting. Looking fantastic. Same thing with your shadows here. If you're going to use shadow, drop shadows, do not use uh, default settings, man. you got to reduce the heck out of those things so they're barely visible. Otherwise, you just get this really blocky, heavy feel. It's artificial. So I would definitely think about that. Likewise, you, you love your drop shadows, don't you? Yeah, they're so heavy and prominent. Yeah, definitely, definitely. You do, don't want to use drop shadows. They're, they're, the default is just so heavy and Blocky, yeah, I'd reduce the heck out of those. Okay, again, poster board for your shots. I think, I don't know, I think it's looking fantastic. I'm loving what I'm seeing here. Awesome job. All right, any questions or comments or anything other, please let me know. Good job. Thank you.